Hammer Recess. Hi parents, I'm Anna. And today in Arm & Hammer Recess, your kids are gonna discover what it's like to be a paleontologist when we make fizzing, hatching dino eggs. So where do we get all that fizz? Well, let's talk for a second about the pH scale. The scale ranges from zero to 14. Zero is the most acidic and 14 is the most basic. So we're gonna be combining vinegar, which is about a two on the scale, with baking soda, which is about a nine. When they get together, they react, neutralize each other, and produce carbon dioxide gas. Here are the items you'll need for this experiment. Once you've gathered the materials, each egg will take your kids about three to five minutes to make. This gives you just enough time to get a little bit of peace and quiet. To make the dino eggs, first we will add Arm & Hammer baking soda to our bowl. We're going to use one cup of Arm & Hammer baking soda per egg. Next, we're gonna add about a quarter cup to one third of a cup of water to the baking soda to moisten it. I start with the quarter cup and then we can add more as needed. Stir it up, we want to achieve a doughy type of consistency. If you'd like to color your eggs, this is a good time to add food coloring. Continue mixing up the dough. The mixture should be damp and moldable, but not too wet. Once your mixture is starting to come together, we are gonna grab a tray so that we can mold these and leave them to dry overnight. Now, parents, you can make the eggs in advance if your kids are younger and you want them to discover and be surprised about what's inside. We are gonna hide miniature toys inside each of the eggs. Of course, since we're making dinosaur eggs, I'm using miniature dinosaurs. So now our mixture is fairly moldable. It may feel a little wet, and if it is, go ahead and add just a little bit more baking soda. Now, you want your mixture to be moldable kind of like a meatball. It needs to be able to stick together, but still moldable enough that you can shape it. To make the egg, take a little bit of the dough and one of your toys and nestle it in the center. Then you're gonna take the rest of your dough and start molding it around the toy to form an egg shape. All right, now it's ready to dry, so leave it on a tray and let it dry overnight. Take a look at my hands and do not panic. So obviously when we use food coloring, it does stain our hands, but here's a little trick that I bet you didn't know. If you use baking soda and warm water, it will clean the food coloring right off your hands. Also, if you don't wanna have your hands stained in the first place, go ahead and use gloves for this activity. Our eggs are dry, it's time to discover what's inside. So grab vinegar and put it in a squeeze bottle or a cup, pour it over your eggs to dissolve them and reveal what's inside. For this step, you will need a bigger tray. All right, let's get in here. This is why we call them fizzing eggs. There's a tail. And look what I have. A dinosaur. Now he's all revealed. Okay, let's do another one. This is a great activity, you guys, because it takes a little bit of time. So it's gonna give you that extra peace and quiet we talked about. And look what I have, a dinosaur! That was a blast. Your kids are gonna love this activity. 